Well, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Wild Your Garden. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the benefits of wildlife ponds and in particular how they can help our fantastic little helpers that are honeybees and many bees, of course, many insects uh, that I've actually seen doing this around the edges of ponds. And that is imbibing salt and minerals and that is using their proboscis to take in natural minerals and salts and moisture of course from the damp edges of a wildlife pond and today i am absolutely surrounded by these fabulous honeybees all down the edges here uh, i'll put some clips in now they're all along these edges uh, imbibing the salts as i say and they're just absolutely loving that uh, fresh damp soil along the edge of the pond so if you haven't thought about providing water, minerals uh, and nutrients, obviously, for uh, our bees and other insects, I've also seen a lot of other butterflies doing it, and you may have seen some as well, in particular on um, hot summer days uh, in woodland rides. You might see red admirals and uh, obviously our majestic purple emperors coming down to uh, imbibe salts and minerals from pathways in woodlands that sort of thing and uh, any damp areas you quite often see uh, I mean you can obviously in other countries not unfortunately in uh, in the UK as much but in other countries around the world uh, where you get mass collections of butterflies they can all gather on pathways in their thousands sometimes to uh, make the most of the minerals available in the salts that are released of course once there has been some rain and it's just washed them out of those salts uh, the the stone that they're obviously found in so yeah a really good way of helping bees and butterflies and other insects at this time of year and particularly into the summer when our insects still need water i mean obviously we think about feeding birds uh, sorry giving water to birds in form in the form of a uh, bird bath or trough or tray however you wish to provide for the birds but insects need water too so a wildlife pond is very good at providing water for these fantastic little insects that uh, obviously have very thirsty work when they are flying around non-stop all day collecting nectar and pollen for their nest offspring and everything else so uh, yes a wildlife pond or even if you can't get a wildlife pond in the garden get a little tub uh, fill it with some soil and then some water make a little sort of muddy bog garden you'll be amazed how many insects visit uh, and make the most of the moisture available so little tip for you there wildlife ponds and how you can help uh, a lot of bees and other insects as well if you've enjoyed the video please feel free to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel and i'll be sure to bring you many more videos on all the ways in which you can help wildlife in videos to come thanks for watching i'll see you soon mm -hmm.